welcome back to Exploring Whiskey. Today, uh, yeah, we're going to the Hawaiian Islands. Going to the right, islands. Baby. That's right, baby. Aloha. <laughs> I don't know what gives it away. Aloha. <laughs> Where's yours? Mecca. No grass skirts. No grass skirts. I, I mean, the, I got the shells and all that kind of stuff downstairs, but I wasn't going that route. This is Kapahi bourbon. I got to take a trip with my family to Hawaii and... Uh, while we were in Maui, we stopped at the ABC store. <laughs> and uh, As you should have, sir. As I should have. And I want—I was just like, all right, had to get something local. Got to get yeah. something from Hawaii. I see Kapa'i bur- bourbon. And I'm like, this this is it. Yeah. I'm going to get something that's Hawaiian. All right. It depends on how you define Hawaiian. This may not be exactly <laughs> Hawaiian. It is Hawaiian corn. This is everything about this is, is tied back to the Hawaiian corn. So they're sourced from different... Farmers on the islands, they take that grain, that corn. Mm-hmm. It's then distilled, technically, I, I think it's Washington State. So it's Dry Fly Distillery is actually the ones that are doing the, the distillery for you. Ah. So it's their corn, definitely sourced from Hawaii. It is, uh, and then it's like the ball, the malted barley and the rye is coming from Washington. 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 They do the distilling there. They send barrels back to they Hawaii? They send bar- barrels back. Okay. And it uses Hawaiian water. Okay. So that's kind of the gist. Is, so it's... It's castring there. It's, it's, it's high proof. And it's then high proof when they send it back. And then they bring, they it, water they bring it down okay. to a... Proof it down. 92. Hmm. So it's 92 proof. Okay. Um, Approachable. And I'm but, light. And I'm amazed. This is only younger. Thirty bucks. It's a cheaper bottle. It, that was. I was just like. But for hey. the back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. It is Everything a else. Bottle. I've never been there. You obviously. You Everything's know, super expensive. Everything's super expensive. <laughs> There's, There's no in, question about everything's that. Everything's imported. Everything is super expensive. This is. This was not particularly expensive. I Thirty dollars. High. You might not even have to get into the other one. Let's see. So. Uh, Again, had to. Had to grab it. Had to at least do the experiment. And and something to drink on for, you know, the, the room, the nightcap. Yeah, while you're there. Yeah. So. Um, Looks light. It is only aged two and a half years. Oh. It is not an older. Oh, okay. What, what were you expecting? Eight? No. I would, no. I was not. Wait, what's go wait, what's going on here? We're gonna I don't keep know. going. You want, you, got a bigger you want pour. two? You got a wait, bigger wait, pour. wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's let's make sure. I got a huge pour. Wait, no, okay. are we even right now? There you go. Oh my God, you got a lot of whiskey. <laughs> you got a bigger pour. <laughs> Children. Oh, good. <laughs> so, Ugh. um, I'm gonna coat. Don't have a whole lot of sorry. Don't have a whole lot of profile behind Can I put it. Put this back in. Uh, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, nope. We're, we're doing it. Um, they they are based. This distillery is based out of uh, Maui. So it's there is a distillery in Maui. They do. They mostly distill. Honestly, most of their most of the things that are distilled in Hawaii are more like rums and things like that. Something doesn't need to age. They have a lot of comes right, right out right. still. Exactly. Right Press it, still it. Because okay. land is crazy to have there. So the terrain. Whoa. I mean, it's, yeah, the whoa. nose is woof. This has tourist trap written that all has, over um, it. <laughs> <laughs> that's like um. It's like going to freaking Gatlinburg. But it's interesting. It's like places. it's the same like youth note. That I get off of mainland whiskey. Uh, this is uh, yeah. Does, does that make sense? Like the like the stumpy, uh, soggy wood. The only thing that's but Hawaiian like... of this is the corn, and it's still just corn. You're mashing it up, you're grinding it up, and you're distilling it. So it's not going to have that huge of a impact. The water will have a little bit. It, that'll be different. It's kind of like it's filtered through. When you think about it, like it's probably more filtered through volcanic volcanic rock right. versus limestone. Uh, well, this, that green note is weird to me. Oh, it's a little better. So I didn't have a super high bar. Just assuming, like I I know they don't do a lot of whiskey. I didn't have a super high bar. I think there's six. Dis- technically, there's six distilleries. Okay. Because I Googled it. I had another friend that went there last summer. And I was like, hey, while you're there, you got you to bring something back. And 
He didn't, but I, I did the research for him. <laughs> I don't know what islands you're going to, but there's six, and I screenshotted it to him. But yeah, a lot of youth, a lot of uh, a lot the, of grain, a lot the of the two and a half years. There's no question about that. There's um, that wet. Uh, like cardboard, wet, wet cardboard, wet cardboard, wet, um, wet stumpy, you no, know, yeah. It's yeah. like the corn just sat in a wet burlap bag. Almost corn sure. husky. Almost yeah. like wet corn husks. Yes. And it was blended, yeah. to me, like I was getting like, it's like corn husk and sugar cane kind of molded together. Like I'm getting I some can... kind of thing that is not normal for young whiskeys here, but it's interesting. <laughs> it's just probably because it's the corn. If Did it, you have a cocktail corn made husk. with this? No, this was a room. No, when you were over there, did you have a cocktail made with this? Yes. Was it better? No. Okay. I didn't I didn't think that's what I'm asking. I well, think... no, honestly, no, it wasn't this one. Sorry. No, I did not have a cocktail made with this one. I have a cocktail made with the other one. Okay. Um That's, that's a lot it. of my thought process though when I have a whiskey. I don't know, I'm, I'm, like, sure, I'm not really not I sure love it, but cocktail. can I make it to a cocktail? But do you have enough that will mask the Yeah, I, so if you have if a strong you throw, syrup, um a juice in there of some sort, a pineapple juice or something like that. A lot of their cocktails, it's kind of having that. Yeah. It would cover that up, and it would be it would be okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We will see. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. Yeah. That's all oh, I got left. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is it. I didn't bring back bottles. I brought back. <laughs> How bad you would make a cocktail? Got... Out of... <laughs> I brought back samplers. <laughs> the nose got way better. But it's still youthy. It's just so youthy. It is young. There's no question about it. It's young. And I was just like, oh, well, they can't age as long because it gets too hot like Texas. And that's not true. No, it doesn't get that hot. It's not true at all. Should be a lot of moisture. Unless there's it's literally sitting out in the sun. There's a lot of moisture in the air there. There's a lot of moisture in the air. But it never really gets, like, crazy hot. The sun's really strong. But there's such a constant breeze. Yeah. It's always in like the 80s, basically. That's interesting. Like, because uh, there's some distilleries. Versus Detling in Alabama, the guy, he he waters the outside of the barrels. He doesn't water the inside. Right. Too. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, we watched it. Yeah. We watched yeah. that. Yeah. 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 And it seems like if you're in a super humid climate, or especially ocean climate, it's doing that naturally. Yeah. You're getting moisture right. on the outside of the barrel. The humidity would just kind of keep the barrel. It just needs MGP in here. This is what it needs. <laughs> So let's see. Let's throw some water. Yeah. Well, one more sip. Before All right, more. you do that. I'll do the water in the opposite direction. That feels really weird. Mm. <laughs> it's like dealing backwards. It is. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. All right, we'll see. No, I again. I had a really low bar. Uh, I set the bar low. I just I didn't expect. They're not known for whiskeys, but I wanted to see. Yeah. So. Softer nose. Um, yeah, that opened up a little bit. That's that's. I'm getting decent. sweeter notes. Much yeah. sweeter notes. Molasses, maybe. It's definitely. I get it definitely corn syrup. It definitely yeah. improved the, the nose. Yeah. Yes. Not much on the flavor mm. palate. Just strong grain, green grains. It's like. Yeah. Mm. It's very artisanal. It's very grassy. It's very grain forward. It just Jeez. didn't have enough time to develop into like a good whiskey right that's do they have other does this particular place have other bourbons or is this just it they focus on rums and i'm assuming they, they focus on a bunch of other stuff that, and this is their first, first run, run maybe uh, no this is not their first run they have six or seven this was probably the third or fourth oh, can you imagine what the first one was like <laughs> I mean, at this point, I'd love to try. <laughs> I'd love you to sure? try. sure? I mean, this... Yeah, I mean, why not? Dying a little piece of Spam. Go <laughs> with it. I mean, youth is one of my... It, it's it's hard to... For, for me, for my palate, I can't... It's There's certain notes, that grassy... I can't get the artisanal, it. It's hard. That artisanal, like... Uh, I don't know why I was Bring go, forward. But I always go back to that one that we did at, that's down in South Carolina, in Charleston. Is it Revival? Revival. Yep. It's like everything comes. It's like farm. It's like farm to table. Mm -hmm. Everything comes from there. But then we did uh, the one I brought back from Montana. Everything that's in that bottle comes from the property. It's night and day. Yeah. yeah. Wyoming. Night um, and day. Difference. Frey Ranch. There's a yep. bunch of distilleries that are doing farm to table or, or grain to glass. But those right. out there for some, I don't know better. if it's. I don't know what it is, but those on the west, in Idaho and Wyoming, Montana. 
Those are so much better than that. Well, the, the, you know, from down the, like the East southeast. Coast and south. yeah. yeah. But this is still in Washington. So. Yeah, this is Washington. Ah, but I honestly, know. I don't know. I, I've not had a lot of, I've not, we've not, one, I don't think we've ever reviewed a dry fly. Or maybe we did one. I can't remember. I have, I have one but at home, but it's I don't like think we care like for them. 30 some proof. I had a six it doesn't year. doesn't drink like it though. Uh, a couple of year, uh, about a year ago, and it was really harsh. It was yeah, really harsh. It was really sharp, very, very proofy. This particular bottle is, <laughs> oh dear lord! All right, so the barrel is 2018 seven one. So they, that's why I said there's like seven, eight different ones i thought that was a cut and paste error or something. no that's the name that's their <laughs> so it was 30 barrels in that batch um and it only went out to the hawaii market uh so this was their first small barrel micro aged lots of bourbon 18 30 girl barrel 30 gallon barrels spring of 2022 is when it came out do you get any chocolate in this nonsense maybe no, like no. a bitter chocolate maybe if you look at the side of the bottle it was really cool like that they, they gave it is kind of a like if you were a nerd for a whiskey and you want all the information of when it entered the barrel when it and when they bar- bottled it and all that like they had all that kind you, of information all over, dude. loved all the information <laughs> <laughs> don't care for the spirit that much yeah mm-hmm. but hey, i don't fault them relatively for trying, no. especially given where they're located no, and maybe it's be it hard. was maybe it was too much. They're just distillate, or or if that's what they're doing, they're blending some of their stuff they're doing in the islands with. No, this uh, is all theirs. Oh. It's all theirs. Maybe bang out some coconut rum for a while and then let that stuff sit. This is it's just super young. That's just it. This needs to I sit. Mean, it just needs to sit. It needs to be in barrels for a longer amount of time. Or rum finish. Maybe do a finish. You something re- re- island. Use what you got. Right. Eh? I can see that. Use what you got. I, I I see where you're going with that, but I just understand where they are. That's like, no, man, how quickly can we get this shit in a bottle? Yeah. Right. Stuff in a bottle. Tell it. Right. To people like him. I'm, the, I'm, I mean, the whiskey I, guy. Oh, this is totally a tourist thing. Yeah. I, yeah. But <laughs> I would have done If I was there, I would have done the same thing. I would have. Just, I, you just, know, but, I would have as well. But we've always done that. Wherever we travel. Yeah. What's local? What's local? I'm going to bring it home. The, the worst part was, is I buy this, and I'm just like, this, I, got, I got a Hawaii bourbon. This is great. And then I read distilled in Washington State. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> I hate to say it, but the best part about this is the picture you sent of it on your balcony yes. yeah, in the yeah. ocean. Yes. That made me immediately want yes, to Yes, the picture. Uh, we'll put it somewhere. Put it real oh, small it, it'll in the be corner. Here. I have... I have I have video of the bottle. I can show you all the, the cool little information on the side. Um, the picture off the balcony overlooking the ocean and the palm trees. And if you want to drink whiskey, like even if it's mediocre whiskey, mm-hmm. it's a really great place to drink whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> so Hey, sometimes the people you're with in the, in the area you're in make, make, make it, he make the it, whole yes, experience it's, better. It's, That's it's, it's true. I would agree. <laughs> no offense, Not. being here with you guys doesn't make this whiskey that much better. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, you know, completely poo-poo this. Like, it's, and, it's, it's got potential. Yes. But to your point... You, Four year, five year, this but would I be guarantee so much better. That that's not even in their business plan, given how, like you said, the property... And was, small batches. Like, yeah. I mean, this is a 30-barrel No, they're going to keep it in, like, this bare minimum. Yeah bare minimum and they're going to bottle it and they're going to sell it to the next tourist floor. i wanted to just even just go to the distillery to see what the distillery was like because it's got to be a very different experience than going to like a kentucky distillery or a tennessee well, distillery. i bet right. you oh, i bet yeah. you the size of it is well yeah i don't know if you've been there like dickel it's small small it's very small to wrap up <laughs> i'm gonna agree with adam that a little more age would make this a much better whiskey but I also or agree with. In there, or, I also agree. Or finished. Or a finish, finish that could yeah. round it out a little bit. Cut, cut, get rid of a little bit bring of that sharpness. Bring some sweetness in. Bring some sweetness mm-hmm. in and grain down a little yep. bit. Yeah. But I totally agree with what you're saying, Aaron. That they're pumping out anything they possibly can because they know they're going to sell it. Because if they're, they're if they're selling it 
somebody's going to buy it off the, the, the store just because, oh, look, it's a Hawaiian whiskey in Hawaii. But maybe they will trend how uh, Sugarland Distilleries in Tennessee, like everyone was buying that moonshine. But now they're doing some quality whiskey. They're yeah, doing they're, they're or, excuse me, rum. You have, you have the I got a bottle they're of rum. Some age stuff. They're doing. They've got some really. Mm-hmm. They they took that money and they're right. You know, expanding on it. These guys might not be. But whatever. But even, we'll if, but even if they sold some of it in the U.S., there's still gonna be people like us that go into like restaurant like, oh, Hawaiian. A Hawaiian. Yes. I've never had that. Thirty bucks. I will try that. Yeah. Thirty dollars. Yeah, I'll buy that. But it's not gonna happen. Because charge forty dollars and age it to four years. It's, it's gonna, gonna be. be much it's gonna be one and done. Uh, thank you for grabbing it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you for grabbing it. We obviously would have done the same thing. Yes. Uh, yeah. Again, kudos for. Bringing back our first Hawaiian whiskey yeah, on, on yeah, the channel, yeah. first one for the three of us to to try. Uh, was this is not a positive review? No, no. like it, it, thank you, but constructive review. Constructive. It's, ah, it's a constructive. Yes. It's a constructive review. Leave it in there longer. Yep. Finish it. Maybe a couple. Fi- try to experiment with your rum. Yeah. Finish rum it, finish. Finish uh, it in the uh, rum. Why not? Why not? Honey finish, something along those it's lines easy would to round do. out some things here. So yeah, there there's there's some things you can do to probably improve on what your your bait your base. Yes. With our mediocre palettes too. But, yeah. Again, I, I'm I know you have one more for us to sample. Yes, sir. I'm hoping that one is just at least at least a step above this one. But I, again, like I said, I I came across six distilleries, so I'm curious what the other ones are like. Hopefully someday I'll make it over there. And, Experience it for myself. Yeah, there you go. Experience it for myself. Yeah, Hawaii. Go, go find, go find a better listen. Sure. Go. All right. Well, we hope you enjoyed <laughs> our review of how do you pronounce this one? Kapahi. Kapahi bourbon. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. It's okay. It, it's okay. It served its purpose <laughs> while I was in Hawaii. Yeah, <laughs> I would say give it a go, but you probably can't unless you're in Hawaii. Oh, yeah. You got to be in Hawaii to get this. West I, Coast. I, there, there are. Uh, of the seven or eight releases, like, I think two went west coast, all the rest of them are Hawaii. Oh, yeah. So, pretty much, you got to be in Hawaii. Yeah. What do you think? Well, we, ho- we hope you enjoyed our review of our first Hawaiian whiskey. If you did, we encourage the support of the channel and we encourage you to hit that like button at, at the bottom of the screen. Uh, I will link up here another regional one, maybe a, I don't know, a Colorado. We've done a lot of different regional ones. Fiji, Missouri. maybe? We've not done no, a no, 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 no. whiskey no, no, no. at this sure point, not. but we'll uh, I'll link up another regional whiskey. Yeah, Colorado will be good. Yeah, yeah, close. Yep. Cool. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Until next episode. Cheers. Cheers.